And what we have here is a situation, quite frankly, where we have um, a local water district uh, that has outlived its usefulness. Senate Bill 1890, submitted by Senator Juan Chuy Hinojosa to dissolve Water District 3 and grant control to McCallum Public Utility, went before the Intergovernmental Relations Committee on April 24th. This is the second time this legislation is presented. In the last session, bills favoring the move passed unanimously in the House and the Senate, but were later vetoed by Texas Governor Rick Perry. Uh, and the reason for vetoing the bill was that the voters to decide on whether or not to dissolve the what is this is number three, uh, covered the whole city of McAllen. Uh, and uh, we, in discussion with the governor, uh, he said that he would not be to the bill if we only uh, allowed the voters within the boundaries of the bill to vote. This time around, wording of the bill would address the governor's concerns. The language would also call for allowing the city of McAllen to have an election, but have the county elections department run it as a neutral party. Uh, it also clarifies uh, that the areas uh, and the voters within the outer boundaries of the district are eligible to participate in the election, uh, even if the district tried to remove those areas. McAllen City Commissioner Marcus Barrera and McAllen City Attorney Kevin Pagan both traveled to Austin in support of the bill. Commissioner Barrera told the Senate Committee about the findings of a governor-ordered state audit revealing significant weaknesses in the management of finances and operations of District 3. He was also critical of projects District 3 took on. Building a boat ramp for the Border Patrol is not in the mission of a water district, especially when they're using taxpayer money from the city of McAllen. Uh, that's a federal government issue and they should have built the boat ramp. Uh, on top of that, there was a reservoir that was built that approximately $1.7 million was spent to build a reservoir, uh, but we already have a reservoir. They could have used our reservoir in there. Commissioner Barreta also questioned the voting structure for electing board members for Water District 3. There's roughly 16,000 people in the district, but yet only about three or 400 can vote because of the exclusions that have occurred since 2005. And I believe that the reasons that, that the reason that that's happening is that so, so certain people can ensure that they stay on the board uh, of the water of irrigation district number three, and they can't be voted out, and they can continue to yank McGowan's chain and yank the taxpayer's chain. The audit also revealed, he said, that District 3 board members overpaid themselves and did not have policies in place to address conflicts of interest. They also mentioned that there just wasn't a whole lot of oversight uh, and just fiscally there were problems there and that their uh, expenditures exceeded their revenues from 2008 to 2011, which is also, in my opinion, mismanagement. Mr. Barrera believes McAllen Public Utility Board members, all elected at large by McAllen residents, are more capable of doing a better job. It only makes sense uh, for that governmental entity to take over the operations of District Number 3. Not only would save money, save time, expenses, and uh, create a, uh, an entity where the citizens of McAllen could all vote on issues involving uh, water and not just uh, the few in Irrigation District Number 3 that uh, that are within the district. No one from District 3 testified before the Senate committee and Senate Bill 1890 was passed unanimously and was sent to the Senate floor. From here, a companion bill will be submitted in the Texas House by Representative Bobby Guerra. Reporting in Austin, Ray Pedraza for the McAllen Cable Network.